welcome back to Mad Cardigan, continuing our playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. Georgia Pumpkin is now going to go see Professor Ronan for one of the so-called extra assignments. Make her a smarter girl. My kitty. Consider that a pet. Don't you find it chilly? Ah, there you are. Paper airplanes, I see. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Sounds like you have me doing your chores. For Why you. must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Okay, collect nine pages from the bottom of the statue. Okay, I thought this was going to be collecting my dry cleaning. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying thing got it. Ow. Quick draw with this wand. And these are uh, man holding ball statues, of course. And you hit these with Let it go. Page must be around here somewhere. <laughs> Brilliant. Dead eye with this thing. <laughs> Sir, I have your dry cleaning. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. All right, curlicue spell. It's a... No problemo, reparo. That's it. Very good. If you would like Fixed to practice mending gotcha. something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. All right, but first saw something glowing behind you. Aha. Wyvern found. Nice. Okay. That was the broken statue he was talking about. Uh, first off, we have to go into the spells. Okay. Seems like it's already queued up. Repair. Nicely done. Clean Works your like remote. A charm, doesn't it? <laughs> sure does. Okay. All right. Next is stuff. Let's see what we got here. A couple of quests. Got some new fancy dancy gloves. Alright. Back 
out of here. We're not going to go into the collections because there is a ton of stuff and you will be uh, spending a lot of time on that screen if you start down that path. Uh, collecting. We're not ready to go and uh, do any dueling yet. Let's stay on the main path here. Let's not stray. Okay. Seems like we needed this Reparo spell for uh, this particular quest. Follow the fairy book. Right. Beautiful, beautiful game. Revelia. Is there a page here? I can sort of. Yep, I thought there was. Excuse me, fellas and ladies. Nope. Fellas? What is this going on here? Nope. I put my hand up and said we had a griffin come by our street once and tried to get our rabbit. My sister had to run out after it, throwing stones till it flew off. I thought Howen would be impressed, but oh, the glare. She said you never meddle with dangerous beasts. If you ask me, she's the dangerous beast. In my opinion, divination is a load of rubbish. Professor and I seem so logical. I don't understand how she believes the things she teaches. Some think Professor Shah is hard to read, but I find her as easy to read as a star chart. She has no patience for time wasting. Clear Rona would have preferred a life in the theater. Can't decide if I like Professor Weasley or Professor Heckett more. Excuse me, folks. Hey, ah. No, Weasley. Please continue. Oh, that was brilliant. My goodness, if you sit here and listen to everybody talk oh. in this place, you'd be in here forever. Look at that. Down the corner, somebody else. There's something okay. in there. I just know Side it. Side quest. Seems it was guiding me in this direction. I know this isn't the uh, Hello, Lenora. Exact one. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha Fellow thinks Hufflepuff. I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Okay. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. True enough in this place. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Thankfully, I've played this before, so I do. Look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Okay, so when you take a side quest, it automatically um, supersedes whatever quest you had before. So, let's go over the painting Lewis. Secret Cast Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Okay. Looks like they're giving me a waypoint. There's another loose book. There we go. Book on the loose. Revelio. This looks look like the location from the there painting. Oh, what could be so special that. about it? Good. The smarmy. Smarmy mean tubby. Right. This moth to a flame. Come on. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Let's go, kiddo. This is my sister's first year. All right. <laughs> I and knew that release. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Oh. The frame was pretty by itself. Okay. I did it. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the All location the depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! 
I should have seen that. Yep, yeah, sorry. Well, right. I woke up to one. Beginning to get down. I'd like to send owls, but I have oh, no one to write another to. Another quest right there. They just throw them at you as you're trying to walk. Oh dear. I shall get in trouble. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Yeah, I've had that happen. I don't know if it's amazing. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. A myth. Why did our meat okay. tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? A meat? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Our meat spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I love how every time you accept a quest, it's so non-committal. If I have the time... Well, guess what? We do have the time. Nothing but time. I'm going to have to use Accio to get okay. to those books. Oh. Whack. Got it. I need four Come more here. to go. That must be the librarian. Another experienced lady. Hmm. Oh. Blue flame? Alright. Let's try upstairs. If we can get to it. Okay. Alrighty. Here's oh, hang on, there's a <laughs> Long distance. Sniper wand. Revelia. I know I saw another one up here. Oh. You sneaky. Did I get it? Okay. Okay. Oh, there's one across the way. You're not getting away. Flap all you want. What is that noise? Is that the book? Hmm. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, there you are. Pap. Uh, what am I missing? I should think there's an entire ward in St. Mungo's that wants to go into that accident. Hmm, okay. Alright, alright. Saw something on the phone. Oh, okay. Over right here while we're passing by. That looks like a very library picture. Okay. I saw that guy. Yep, there is a portrait in the books. And another page I just saw floating there. Revelia. Hold on, Moth. I'll get you in just a sec. The Lewis. old librarian. Come on, buddy. Let's take a walk. Moth on a leash. I'll make way. Oh. 
There we go. All about the XP, baby. Okay, where is that final page? I was I miss Oh. Oh, I think he went under the thing. Okay. You gotta come out anywhere. Chests down there. Looks like uh, the restricted area, quote unquote. I'm sure we'll never have to go down there. Okay, okay. Can't hide from me, book. Oh. The best. That stairs. The best. Where did that thing go? Are you kidding me? Rebellion. No, oh, come on. That's the last book. Okay. Now to take them back to Cressida. Okay. We don't want to read this poor girl's journal. It's private. Good news. I didn't publish anything. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. We got some more new uh, to finally have an gear, answer as to why that quote unquote. Okay. Okay, here. Oh, that was a wand handle. We haven't unlocked that yet. Okay. Uh, inventory now. Collector requests. That's where we were headed. All right. Ooh, okay. We're just beginning to unlock some of this stuff. Uh, don't know if we'll get all the way through all of this. Like I said, 100% on this game seems to be uh, quite a bit. So. Follow the book. Excuse me, not sorry. Maddie, I saw something behind you. Sneaking up on you. Cool broom. I'm going to have to go through this entire castle. Just waving this thing around. Oh, that's a flank. I always grab the flank. And a chest. I invented blue powder. Okay. More money. Natty. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. First rate loading screen. Goodness, that took a while. Okay, back outside. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing yep. of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, 
I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient runes. Grave mistake no. to take it as Will an it elective score? class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. No kidding. Okay. Stewing bugs. I'm all about that. What is that? Okay. Mouthy flowers. That's awesome. Look! From the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled oh. them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Hmm. Absolutely. Likely already Arthur? named them too. Prance Hoof and Sugarfoot. Prance Hoof and Sugarfoot. That's the Forbidden Forest on the that. left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Forbidden fruit work for Adam and Eve. All right. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when that? Professor Weasley mentioned that you okay. knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. This girl's got some stamina. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that Not followed my arrival hard. feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. Oh. I'm getting used whap, whap. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Kitty. Hopefully it will for you too. Okay. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. <sighs> Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian, mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon, a demigod. All right, we've got a drunk caretaker. I think awesome. we had too much fun in the village. I will say that Still I have never better seen than what a filch. That old turd that they have in the, in the movies. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend hmm. with you. I'll keep that in mind. Not confusing Thank at all. You. Okay. Oh, see a page. Revelia. Thank you much. Oh, page is Come here. A 
I'm so common. No are. one around here reacts to me it flinging is hard this wand around. To start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can't tell you that, that you are certain <laughs> to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Oh. How quaint. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Okay. Okay. Yeah, small town. And no problemo. Okay, so these bouncy. Okay. Uh <coughs> Take them one at a time. Tomes and scrolls. Bang. Bunch of stuff inside, okay. An inquiring mind. Wants to know. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown, I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay. For free, I will take it. If you're yeah. interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Okay, let's see if there's anything we can get rid of. I was not wearing these things at the time, so uh, empty our inventory. One thing about this game, uh, very limited inventory space uh, until you complete some tasks to uh, expand it a bit. Okay, I'm supposed to be going to see the wand maker. Okay, that's Olivander's there. Of course, she has a pose out front like everybody does. A wand shop. Merlin right. Not again. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gurgled Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest one-makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um... Ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. 
You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll well, if Harry Potter couldn't do it on his first try, why should I be able to? No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. All right, lore wise, it's so cool that they let you, you know, have all this customization. You can't really see it in game, and I don't believe that any of the stuff really uh, makes a difference. How interesting, uh, as as performance wise, not that I know of, but uh, so. Looks good. Wood type. Black door. Curious indeed. Evil. Okay. Elder. After pop pop. Okay, that's good. Okay. Ten and a quarter. Slightly yielding. What does that mean? Quite bendy. How intriguing. In the middle. Whippy. That's Georgia. Whippy. Okay. Dragons. Unicorns. Phoenix. George is a unicorn hmm. girl. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its right. owner. What do you think? Extraordinary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Ha, ha, ha. Ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed More a sort tingly. of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay, two down, two to go. Chest to search, more money. I always use that. All right, all right. Zonko, the leader of the candy store. See a nifty storefront? You can bet there's a page out in front of it. Okay. You know, these locks are locked behind a spell that you still have to be able to perform. Find that thing later on. I think I saw it down here. There we go. Welcome Mr. to Potion JP Man. Potions. Thank you. Oh, some new gear. All right. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, 
I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Okay, a couple of freebies. Feel free to take a look and at the rest of my well. inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Okay, so, woo, that's expensive. Okay, too much for me, buddy. Rebellion. Nice little shop you have here. Awesome. Okay. Little brew station. Okay, and just uh, the magic meat up the hill here. Uh, up the hill. Oh, hang on. I think it's around this way. Over a bridge. Yeah, there we go. Loose book. Come here. Every time I see a bird, I want to whack it. Just like those pages. Well, hello Let me guess. Then. You have a page as well. Max out our level just from these pages. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I am choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Yes, sir. Thank Do you. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. All right. Let's go and find Natty. See what trouble she's gotten herself into. Can't leave that girl alone anywhere. Always have that wand out at the ready. So that page. Ah, there you are. Oh, another cat. Pet, pet. Okay. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, who let you in?
That was a close. Okay. Uh, dodge. Yep. Gotcha. And. Oh, whack, whack. Okay, dodge. Yep. I really doubt Feather Spell is going to do much to that guy. Hey, go. Woo. 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 Oh. There we go. What was that? Ooh. I love that grab spell. Akio, do anything? No. Wow. Oh, oh you hit Maddy. Oh my goodness. He's not like boxes. Come on. Anything else to grab? There we go. Oh yeah. Superpower, bam. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh yeah. Always help out the law. Rebellion. Okay, what do you oh, got? Hello there. A, a moment if you would. I will see what he wants. Talking to me. Yeah, you go shopping. I'll clean everything up here. Prepare. Uh, there we go. Mm, whip. Okay. Revenia. Anything for me? Better. Uh, how about you guys? Oh, Gotta have the fireworks stand, okay. Lemonade? No, flower pots, okay. Fix up Honeydukes okay, with the Lumo spell. Great, great, great. Oh yeah, the house that he came in through. Repair. The entrance. Think about that, Professor Fig. That was pretty impressive. Rebellion. And what else? What else? What else? Action. Come here! Ah, oh, that come it. Got away. Repair. Haphazard way to stack boxes. Pet. No, I didn't pet you yet. Pet, pet, pet. Okay. We were just talking about you. Look at that hairdo. Awesome. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. 
I own glad rags, wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Oh, I didn't do That's much. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill. But I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Okay, if you insist. And robes, okay. Already wearing a green one, but this one seems to be better. Fantastic. Let's sell the old one for nothing. Okay. Uh, I need to put that hat on actually when I get a chance. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more and worthy items. You're very welcome to peruse my shop at your... Those eyeball chests, I've seen those things before. Ooh, looks like some fancy clothing there. Those eyeball chests, you have to hide yourself. You have to have that invisibility thing. I think there was something back here. Don't mind me. Okay, just a potion. This guy was giving me stuff for free. He's not going to mind if I take everything else out of his shop. Let's go ahead and check some of that gear we got. This might look pretty fancy. Okay. Oh yeah, that's much better. Oh wow. Okay, that's not very student-y. But finders keepers. Okay. Anything in the scarf section? No. I believe we did have a new hat. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll leave that for now. Okay, and we did unlock the wands. So we can stick a handle on it. Okay. Oh, neat. That looks pretty good. Check our challenges. See if we got any new. Oh, we got a couple of new things. New glasses and a new hat. Okay. Back in the gear, like I said in an earlier video, you can change the look of things without changing the stats. She looks like an adventurer right there. Okay. Let's let her look a little, uh, she's out and about right now, so how about that? Oh, hang on. Oh, nothing in there. Okay. Fantastic. We got our new look. She's about to head to the, head to the pub and have a butter beer, so looks like appropriate attire. Okay. I think we'll call it a part there for today. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, Georgia Pumpkin says uh, goodbye, and we will see you in the next one. Everyone behave and be good. <laughs>